Hey, how's it going, everyone? <clears throat> Sorry yesterday's video was so late. <clears throat> These earlier mornings are killing me. Gotta be honest. By the time I get home after work, I just drop dead, so... i uh, try to get this done in the next hour <clears throat> uh, before I pass out. <laughs> Uh, anyways, the dollar is basing. You see it three days in a row. Let's look at the uh, short term here. Coming off a double top. Uh, watch out below uh, on previous lows. That uh, uh, head and shoulders uh, top could break down very easily. I got a, a low here and a low here and highs here. So it's got lots of support uh, coming down in. But on that 60 minute chart, you can see it basing. And you can see a reverse head and shoulders. And just trade outside. If you can't see the head and shoulders, just trade outside the pattern. The more it bases on the, uh, or consolidates uh, sideways, the more chance it has to reverse. So it's coming into a pinch on the 60 minutes. So sooner or later, it's not going to base forever. It's going to have to make a move. Uh, up or down. The pattern is is in a corkscrew. Up, up and down, up and down, pat. And my guess, it's a reverse head and shoulders and a uh, pop upwards from that uh, down spike there. Let's look at uh, S&P. 60 minutes, came across, came back in today. So now we got the opposing point. Uh, fell back through inside the pattern from previous lows. So watch this go in a pinch and break onto the upside for a little bounce. <clears throat> Same on the Dow. Came across. Came back inside. And going to watch for that. Let's do the next step up. Previous lows, resistance on the way up is previous lows. Support on the way down is previous highs. So I got a previous low and a previous high right there. So now we got a pattern on the down. There we go. NASDAQ. Looks like that came into support as well. Now we got the opposing points. We're basing from the bottom. Take that previous low. Same, same, same. Bam, 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 bam. And closing a nice little, not a perfect hammer, but it has that uh, action. Uh, look for previous low breaks as this can break down still. Uh, we got previous lows coming in, but an ascending triangle off the bottom. Looks like the VIX uh, had some news. Uh, I think uh, Zero Hedge was uh, commenting on the VIX. So let's check that. Let's check that out. Look at that. It's coming outside the pattern. There you go. It looks like zero hedge is on my same wavelength. There we go. And uh, let's see. Crude is hanging on by a thread. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I can't go any deeper than that. Uh -huh. So it came off the bounce previous. Trend line upward, trend line came off of there, came into resistance and popped through. Now it's just hanging on a thread. It has to get above resistance for support. Resistance is previous lows. Previous lows. Got to, it's slack, slacking. It looks like it's going to fall over again. So we have a measured move into resistance or into support. And then we have a measured move on the downside from uh, the pattern highs. So I would say a breakdown, 50, let's go 55 to 50. Five dollars down from the break. So it looks like to 45, it's on its way if it breaks down. That's just my um, guesstimation meter. Uh, just take the measured move from uh, upward trend line. So it's just a guesstimation. Don't get all weird on me. 
it looks like it's going to come back down. Looks like it's a rejection is in. It's sloping. It's breaking previous lows. Boom, boom. Watch out below on. See the previous low? It bounced off the previous low. We do have a double bottom over over that upward trend line, but uh, it's pretty steep on the downside. And it's a slight falling wedge. Slight. I say slight. Is that can be into a falling wedge. At least that's where the trend lines are leading. But it's hanging on a thread. Watch out below as it crosses that trend line into um, support. Uh, Shanghai. It's back and forth. Back and forth. We do have another, another opposing point. And now it's matching the trend. So still have the flat top break. Uh, look for previous low breaks on the downside as it will crack over that uh, SM, SMA 34. We are working off a double top. It's back and forth, back and forth from here. Let's see what happens. I got the 10 year. Looks like we're bouncing. Uh, but it did break down. So is that the bearish retracement? I think so. Look for a bearish retracement resistance at 246. Watch it come back in. And the Nikkei falling over like a, it's just gapped over res, uh, support. I had the upward trend line. I had the median right over, just cracked. So that ascending triangle broke down into the downside. Take previous lows on the way down. Also look for the bearish retracement back into resistance. <clears throat> Let's check it out. Coal. Looks like coal has got a nice balance line. It's coming across on the daily chart. Back and forth, back and forth. Here we go. Looks like it's getting ready. Straight outside that pattern. Ascending. Uh, could use another uh, opposing point. But right now it's hanging between resistance and support. Back and forth. Things get really tight in that corkscrew. Ha! Ah! It's not ready yet. But I do have an inverted hammer. Um, a hammer here, a two bar pattern here. Lots of reversals coming through. We got higher lows and a couple higher lows than the low, uh, higher lows over here. So higher lows became higher lows. Watch that climb. Uh, let's see what's going on with steel. Looks like steel's having some hard times. I thought this was going to be bullish since the uh, the announcement for investment in American Steel from uh, the president. Looks like we got a uh, we got a flat top, flat bottom. Mm -hmm. It's basing. It's coming across the eight and the thirteen all at once. Maybe we'll get a nice pop into resistance here shortly. I don't know if my line's in the right spot. Let's take the previous lows with the previous high and do it that way. Yes. If I took the opposing point from the low to the next previous high, it's coming down pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep it there. 
that line so far in that previous low. Resistance, resistance, support, support. Let's see what happens. It's got a flat bottom now. Do not. Uh, it's, so it's got a double bottom. And to punch into resistance, back into support, punch into resistance, and then a, a close today on the hourly above the 8 and the 13. Looks ready, I just don't know. Always watch volume. And as far as the daily, I'm just not sure about that yet. I don't know if it's ready. I don't know if it's going to fall over. But the daily, or the hourly, looks like it's going to punch into previous lows. Uh, we are working with a double top. We broke down pretty substantially uh, from here. What's the What's the measured move across the 34? 42, 35. Let's, let's just guesstimate uh, 7 bucks from the break. So I'm looking at, at 32, which is the previous. Uh, so I don't know yet. I don't know if it's ready to turn around. Looks like if you come in a little bit more. Definitely rejected on the upside. So I got a long trend line that needs to get over. And so far our opposing point on the daily is here. So see what happens as time goes on. But we got the 13 crossing over. We got the 8 already crossing over. We had a huge down encompassing so many candles previously. Coming into, uh, breaking into previous highs, into the previous range. I mean, this thing could come down still. I don't know if it's ready to churn yet. Nothing substantial on the churn yet. Not on the daily anyways. Alrighty, gold. Gold still has the V-bottom. Remember, the V-bottoms don't work. I need an opposing point. So watch this to come into support. I thought it was going to do it today. It did not. Now let's look at that weekly, see where we're at. Looks like we're getting rejected again. We do have a reversal. Head and shoulders. Reverse head and shoulders. Look at that flat top break coming in at 1262. Into previous lows. So far we're having a lot of resistance on the upside. Looks like we cracked above, came back into support. Cracked above, came back into support. Let's find that inverted hammer. Where is it? Well, I got a two-bar pattern bearish. There's a hammer. Let's find that... Uh, it's got to be an inverted hammer somewhere. There it is. See an inverted hammer. So busted out, came into support. Uh, two bar pattern reversal. There's a. Sorry, I I got a hammer here. Two bar reversal, hammer reversal. Double bottom. Came into resistance, came into support. Another inverted hammer. Came into resistance, came in on a higher low. So let's try again here shortly. Watch previous high breaks on the way up. Break into previous lows. Crack. I want to crack uh, this previous 1250. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking it's going to come into support though. As that 8 crumbs across the 34, price wants to come down and meet both of them together and make a big splash. Uh, the V bottoms don't work. I need an opposing point. So expect something. I 
And silver was doing better, wouldn't it? And I did have a win on my reverse side and shoulders on the 60 minute. Someone asked about a 60 minute uh, uh, reverse side and shoulders on the comments, and I, I didn't understand what you meant, but it's just a, it's a reversal pattern, price pattern that's very common. Head and shoulders tops are common. Head or reverse head and shoulders bottoms are common. Um, I think I got like 12 points. I was shooting for three or four. So it's good. Good for me. I always win on the paper trades. No emotion involved. <laughs> it's amazing how that works. Um, so we broke out and came back into support on the uh, 60 minute. We got some higher lows working. Let's get above that eight again. We break above that eight means we broke are breaking above previous highs. Get above previous highs, start running this thing up. How's that daily? Looks like daily got rejected right at the 34. The eight has not crossed over the 13 yet, so um, we might have to come into support. Watch for a breakdown on that 60 minute. And the weekly, just a real short, Kick in the butt right over that 34 for the weekly. That would be awesome on both gold and silver. Copper. Uh, we're gonna we gotta hold previous highs, previous lows. So far, so good. Um, it's basing, but uh, it broke down. Bears retraced, so I'm looking for it to fall over. This is a weekly chart, so it could happen uh, in the next week or so. I got higher lows on the daily. And we got a pattern. There we go. Closing above the 8 and 13 in a pinch between support and resistance. I imagine it's going to cut, hit resistance and have to. Uh, it's a descending triangle. So it's not a bullish triangle, but we do have higher lows. So we've got that going for us. Real quick, GDX. Uh, still trying to get over the hump. The eights across the 13. Let's base a little bit more. Let's see how that 60 minutes doing. Looks like we've got higher lows. Into the close. It's not much of a pattern. I'm, like, I'm thinking we need an opposing point to get this thing uh, gather its legs. Uh, it's got to get. It's at resistance now. On the close, get above previous highs and stay there. Uh, I got a gap right here. Support and resistance. Lots of resistance. We're at resistance. We might have to come back, gather our legs, try again. It's a 60 minute. Out our week. Got one more day for the week. Looks like we're being rejected by the eight. Looks like uh, supports at the thirteen. We got resistance on the way up. Shoot into previous lows. We're getting rejected by the previous lows over here. GDXJ. Nice hammers, still work, still working this higher low. Price is coming into a pinch. All of these are going to have to make a decision. And my guess is up. But we might get some back and forth before that happens. I got a, a long trend line here. I got an uptrend line here. This is going to come into a pinch. All of them. Gonna love the pinch, price pinch, coming into an area where price has to make a decision up or down. Let's take this line right there. Take a previous lows, previous highs, 
on the way down. J-Nug. Still sluggish up the bottom. Got some higher lows coming in. We're in the we're in the pattern. It's a weekly pattern. Let's see how that hourly closed out today. Looks like it's being rejected by the hourly. Look for an opposing point come in. Um, We're at support on the daily though. Came across, came in, downward spin, short pattern here. Hmm. I was looking for a head and shoulders top. On the intraday that yesterday, and I couldn't find it. There's a five minute chart. Let's take care of these lines. So I got a pretty much a steep incline uh, with a flat top from previous low. A bunch of whipsaws. Breaking into previous lows, getting rejected each time. All I can say is keep climbing. I got a whipsaw on the bottom. Gotta bounce and turn over. It's coming into uh, price pinch. Going on with Bitcoin. I'm going to reverse head and shoulders off the five minute. Let's go to hourly. Let's see how we're doing. Came over support. In, over resistance into support. Thrown over. Back all the way in. This is a two bar reversal. Let's see if we can get this thing pumping. We got an opposing point now. Not much of an opposing point from the bottom, though. So I think this can come in a little bit. Maybe that's the bearish retracement. Cross over the 34 bearish retracement. Watch it come in. Daily. Let's take care of my lines. This thing's out of here. Had the breakdown, bearish retracement, so far rejected. Let's, let's look for a uh, more shallow opposing point coming in. Let's see if we can get that 8 churning back up, get price above the 8, get that 8 to pull back up where it wants to. Uh, weekly. This is back and forth between support and resistance. Um, I think all we can hope for is it for to go sideways to base. I mean that was a good blow off phase. It's got um, it's got to have some time to consolidate. I'm thinking on the longer term, it's going to make a nice little handle uh, even on the monthly. I mean, I don't think this is done. I mean next month it could double back. Uh, but we had a push into highs, came all the way back in. That's a, uh, a bearish encompassing pattern, uh, a bearish piercing pattern on a monthly chart. That doesn't look good for the long, long term. So be careful out there. Uh, but next month, it could double back and everything will be fine. But that's pretty hard to do. Momentum is down.
Something's got to turn that momentum. It's got to come into support. It's got to find some kind of a support level. Just watch out for the downside. I don't think it's done. Uh, let's just look at AG real quick. Keep these kind of shorter. I'm trying to get these things quick and short and sweet. That's the monthly. Let's look at that hourly. I was thinking this thing is pumping some good volume. Looks like a bearish retracement back into resistance on the hourly. Hmm. Looks like we came into resistance. Got to gather our legs. It's hugging support. Hugging support. Looking for maybe a couple more days as the 8 crosses over. Comes into support. Uh, it could turn on the dime. The higher price stays up, the faster the 8 will pull across. Looks like we've got a double bottom for me. It's hugging support. Watch for the follower. Hmm. All right, guys, uh, I got to go. Please share, like, and comment. Uh, donate if you can. I think our time is coming. Let's look at these for one more last time before the end of the day here. We're almost there on gold and silver on the weekly charts. Almost. Watch volatility come in, volume. Watch the volume come in on the previous high breaks. Cross the 34. Let's get above... Previous highs, get some support. Right now we're in the pinch. Let's do it. Nice flat top break. 1250, let's call it 1260. And then silver. Could use a little help, a little punch. Nice reverse head and shoulders. Let's complete these patterns on the upside. And also, make sure you all realize the bullish cross on the monthly chart came into support. The bullish retracement's in. Confirmed. So let's have a flat top break. Bam. Things are going to roll. The flat top breaks. Bullish over the 34, back into support. Bullish retracement's in. Those are the monthly charts, long-term charts. All we got to do is flat top break and we're off and running. We'll hit those previous highs, no problem. We're getting held down by the previous lows. This whole range right here. All right, I'll see you guys.